I'm so sorry about this. Most of the time, I just take these reviews straight through and I don't do the jump cuts or anything. I just go right through because I don't know how to make those clips merge together nicely, but this is the second time that the camera has stopped recording or it's glitched up and oh, I don't know how to fix it, so it's going to look choppy and I'm so sorry about that. But to wrap up, ultimately this movie really hit home on a lot of points for me. I really appreciated this perspective on Hank Williams. It does ground him, but again, I don't think in a disrespectful way. I don't think it's done in a way to diminish who he was. It's more to recognize he did all this despite dealing with a lot of pain, both mental, physical, and emotional. And it's it's hard it's hard to take sometimes because well, on the one hand, our culture loves destroying celebrities, and on the other, our culture loves adoring them and putting them up on pedestals. But I think that there's often that desire to believe that these individuals who have given us joy, who have given us an outlet and solace, that they have things figured out and that things are good for them. It's really difficult to realize that they themselves are often suffering or struggling and there's nothing that we can do. It, it's it's really sobering, and just a reminder they're people too, and life is hard for everybody. And it also you see it reflected because oftentimes I think people who give, regardless of how they give, whether it's through music or through service or through poetry or however it might be, they often give to others what they themselves need someone to give to them. And, you know, there's no one who knows how much someone needs a helping hand or that light in the darkness than someone who's been in the dark or needed that helping hand. Plus, the other thing this movie did is it ended up opening the doors for some, an interesting, few interesting conversations between James and myself, primarily based on the fact that, you know, he saw some similarities between Hank Williams and his tendency to overwork and to not rest, and someone else who shall remain nameless. Not exactly the conversation I wanted to have, but it was a good conversation anyway. So obviously the movie's going to get some credit for me, because when you can have a good conversation like that, it's worth something. So yes, I do recommend this movie. I think that it's it's good, it's well done, I didn't see carelessness, The and my theory, I think, holds up for why it's focused that way, though I would be interested in finding out whether that, what, what the director and the writer and everyone who was involved, what they actually intended. I'm always curious about that. This is a movie that goes into the I enjoyed, I plan on watching it again, and definitely with subtitles. And yes, recommend it. I hope that you enjoy it and that it uh, helps you think or lets you enjoy the music more or see some of that backstory to it. So what was your favorite biopic if you haven't seen uh, this movie or maybe a story about a musician or someone who uh, impacted you through music? And thank you so much for stopping by. Again, I apologize about the glitches. I hope that it's not too distracting and I will talk to you later. Bye.